Hey family, how are you? Welcome to the cookout. It's a day where we are just, you know, we've taken Bart through some things over the summer. I wanted to get on and do a video on cleaning out your Bartesian. I've had plenty of comments where people ask me about the cleaning process. So why not just get on here and do a video about how we clean it, how we keep Bart giving us drink after drink after drink. So in order to do that, you gotta take care of Bart. So when you are coming in to clean Bart, as it recommends, before you do any wiping down, remember, Bart gets plugged up, it's got some electricity flowing through it. First thing we wanna do is unplug him, and then we wanna make sure that we wipe everything down. I have a rag, and the only thing I usually do, you know, you can wipe the outside, you take up the, the bar mat, if I can grab it, but you take up the bar mat, and in here you see where I have spillage and when I'm fixing my drink, it'll spill over here. You can wash this in some warm soapy water and you just wash it. You take your jars out, you just remove them. Cause we're not afraid of Bart anymore. We know how to work them. But you take your bars out and you're just taking your rag and you're just wiping down in there and getting down in there real good because you know, it's like alcohol doesn't have sugar in it, but it gets sticky and yicky and all that other good stuff. So you just kind of wipe down with that. And you're just wiping, getting all that extra alcohol and you can start smelling because as soon as you open up these little, um, I guess it's where the bar capsules connect, you start smelling that alcohol in there. But you're just wiping it down. Now the key to washing these is they're dishwasher safe. So I usually put them in the dishwasher. You take the lid off and you separate it, put that in there, get it washed. Also on the lid, there's what's called a duck bill. And this right here is what sucks up the alcohol. This comes off. And you wash that because right here, it sticks and if you can see I have my gloves on just so you can see where it holds the alcohol in there so you take that off and wash it as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this I'm going to go wash it but we're going to take it a step further we're going to actually use the clean function on the settings to clean out the machine I don't want to walk through that step so let me go do my part to get everything cleaned up and we'll get water in the containers because in order to do the clean after I wash all this when I um, come back, I'll have water in these containers because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this water to filter through to clean the machine. So I have filled up all of the spirit bottles with water. This one I left the lid off because I, I want you to remember, if you have that duck bill and you pulled it off, remember after you wash it to place it back on before adding it, um, the lid back to your spirit bottles. So just have your spirit bottles filled. Um, I might get asked, hot water, cold water, warm water. The manufacturer does not even specify, it just says water. I use a little warm water. Um, I felt like it would do better. That's just my personal opinion, it's not in the book. But you just add your containers on to your Bartesian and you're almost ready to go. We'll of course have to plug it back in because the machine is gonna run. But there is something else I wanted to mention to you when you're cleaning. We know we cleaned the outside, we took the bottles off, we washed them, we took off the duck tail, uh, duck, yeah, duck tail, took that off to wash it, or bill, duck bill, I think it's what they call it. And then we took up our bar mat and washed it, but also when you lift up, under here, you know your reader is under here, so you wanna also make sure that you are keeping that clean because that tells Bartesian what drink bitters to mix in with the um, different types of alcohol. So be sure that you're cleaning that. The other thing to clean as well is, I had a piece of paper towel on there, is that you pull out the capsule holder. So push from the bottom up. And the reason why I say that, don't put your fingers in there because there is a needle in there that will puncture, that's in there to puncture your capsules. And if you put your finger in there, you're liable to get stuck, cut, all that good stuff. So from the bottom, just push up and it comes right up. And then you'll see right over here is where that needle is. So even when you're washing that, be very careful not to um, put your finger down there and get cut. 
So that's something to note, but you'll clean all of that and then you'll clean all around there and then you just place it back down. Just remember, don't put your fingers down in there. Just pop it for right there and it pops into place. And then you can just take your rag and you can clean all back in here as well and just get that reader cleaned off because that's what makes the deliciousness. It's gotta be able to read our drinks, okay? So that's just something to note. Also, when you fill up this with water, remember you are going to do a rinse clean. So have you some containers ready so that it can spill over in there. So I'm gonna plug the machine back up. The Bartesian logo will load and then we'll go in the menu option to show you where you go to do the clean. We know we did a clean when we first got it. We did our first time use cleansing kind of thing, but now we wanna do a thorough cleaning of the Bartesian. They recommend doing this one to every once, once or maybe twice a month. So, or is it one time every two months? One time every two months that they recommend doing this cleaning. I will admit, I've had Bart a year, first time doing the thorough cleaning. So we're gonna do better taking care of Bart. So come on, let me show you in the settings where we make this adjustment. So when the Bartesian menu comes up, you know that you have the settings button, which is this little gear. So you hit the settings or the gear button, most people call it that. And in this menu, you select the option, which is the rinse clean. So it is the third option down. So you click rinse clean. This is follow instructions in the owner's manual and press all when ready. So we're gonna press all because we have water in all of our spirit containers. And as you notice now, what it's doing is it's drawing from each one of our spirit containers. And you can see the yuckiness because it's mixing in with alcohol that's just left in um, the lines. So pretty neat that we're getting to see how this cleans out the line so that we can have fresh drinks every time we make from the Bartesian. All right, so we're just gonna run this again because to me it seems like it should have pulled all the way down. I think for me, what I will do is run it until I start seeing clear water. And to me, that would be an indication that the lines are clean and all of you know, my spirits that were left over in there have been cleaned out. So that was clean number two. I'm gonna take a look at it. And what I'm gonna do is just get another container and put it under there. And I'm just gonna go one more time, one more time. Let's go one more again. And just hit the setting button again. Bart went to sleep on me up here. But we're gonna hit the settings. We're gonna do the rinse clean again. And all. And looks to me now like we're getting clean, clear water now. So for me, I would be satisfied knowing that after my third rinse, my water's coming out pretty clear and clean. So I'd be satisfied with that. So once, it's, once it runs and it does that, and for me, once I have this clear water, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied, so I think I would be good with that. Now, some people may not use in your reservoir because you know in the back we have our reservoir and the key with our reservoir is to also make sure we wash it as well. I didn't pull it out to show you that, but just remember every part of this, this can come out and be washed in the sink. I would not put that in the dishwasher. But if you're using um, tap water or maybe you're using fresh water because you have a well and you're using that and you're not using um, bottled water, you may get some descaling or you might get calcium buildup. And you might see that in there. One thing that they recommend that you can do is you can use vinegar and water. So you can put um, some vinegar and water inside your capsule bottles. I think it's like a fourth of a fourth of a cup of tea, uh, a fourth of a cup of vinegar 
to two cups of water and you put that in there and you run it through but you would probably want to run it through a couple of times to make sure that there's no vinegar taste left in there because you would want to make a drink and it tastes like vinegar so just get your um your um booklet it'll tell you more about that but if you're not using bottled water or you're not using a filter on your water system you may want to do that if you see some scaling or some um, calcium buildup for your product so We've cleaned Bart. Bart's ready now for the winter so we can do the drinks. Cause you know, Bart doesn't stop because you know, we close down outside. Inside is open now. So if you have any comments, if you've done some cleaning, hit me up in the comments and let me know. I did have someone to ask me about taking it apart because they saw liquid still down in here. I would not recommend taking Bart apart. You would probably void your warranty if you did anything like that. So I wouldn't recommend that at all. I think the, the instructions that they give us is how to go down in there and clean and get all the, the lines cleaned out and to clean where we put our capsules. I think that will be good enough for us to keep Bart going drink after drink after drink. So that's it family. I hope I am keeping you informed. You've been here this long. You might as well click like, subscribe, and be notified because you have to come to the cookout. And the only way you come is you got to know that I got a cookout on store for you. So I hope that this channel inspires, empowers, entertains, and most importantly, keeps you informed. Be blessed family.